Alright, welcome back. You're still watching an intimate review here on Metro Television. Dusty Fading is my name. You can call me the star boy, and I'm here with Nanaya Tanobachi. We are gonna talk now, and 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 this conversation is gonna be an interesting one because um I think it was just two days ago I was at the La Pamoyo Beach Hotel where the VGMA National Music Summit took place, and a lot of conversations came up about the Ghanaian creative arts industry. And uh, today we get to talk about all of the things that happened there. And of course, we're streaming live on Facebook at Metro TV Ghana. You can join us on there. And also, we are on Twitter. You can follow us at uh, Metro TV Ghana. So we have joining us. He's, he's well known. I mean, I've, I've seen, uh, this is the first time meeting, but I, I've heard about, about him. Could you? Yes, sir. Preko Dankwa is a uh, uh, Dakwa, actually. Is no, Dankwa is. Dankwa, uh, yeah. Okay, so Dankwa, Dankwa. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you this too. Afternoon. Our conversation is about the Creative Arts Agency and what they've been working towards. So the Deputy Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Marco Krikumante, was at the summit that was held on Tuesday. And he said that a lot of people in the entertainment industry or the creative arts industry have not read the Creative Arts Bill <laughs> that brought in the Creative Arts Agency and so we get to say a lot of things that really do not, are not really true. And that includes, you know, the work of the uh, executive secretary, as it is, or you can call it the CEO, the head of the agency, Jankruma Akufuado. So, Kujo, I want us to get through the act first. I want to read some portions of it. All right. And then we get into all the <laughs> other things that I know you're eager to all right. talk about. So let me just read some bits of that. All right. I know a lot of us truly... I haven't read the creative arts. Um, okay, the act itself. So let me start with the establishment of this one. It says that the there is established by this act that is uh, with the first part with the establishment of the creative arts agency. One, there is established by this act act the creative arts agency as a body uh, corporate. The agency may for the performance of the functions of the agency acquire hold property dispose of property and enter into a contract or any other related uh, transaction so i'm moving down to the functions of the agency now three says that the agency shall a ensure the effective organization and management of the creative arts industry and also foster an enabling environment for industry-led approaches to boost the growth and competitiveness of the creative arts industry. It continues that to facilitate the engagement of the creative arts industry players by providing a forum for meeting with the creative arts industry operators. And there's one bit I also uh, want to touch on, that is uh, the source and manage finance and investment in the creative arts sector. Keep maintain and publish a register of creative arts industry operators. There are lots of them. And Kojo, I want to ask Before Kojo you, comes, yeah, let's okay. play the video. Let's listen Before to we'll get the, the deputy minister. Yeah. And got the creative arts council. Again, President Kufadu said that the council will also be a quasi government agency. And so government cannot do much if it is just a council. So we change the name to a creative arts agency. And today we have the law. The law is going to regulate these domains. I'm going to mention them religiously. So please give me your attention. If you've not seen the law, please look for it. It's called the Creative Arts Act 2020. The music industry, fashion, beauty, and modeling, film and screen industry, visual arts industry, which is fine arts, phonography industry, theater arts industry, literary arts and books industry, audiovisual industry, new media and creative services, heritage and cultural sites, traditional cultural expressions, festivals and celebrations, intellectual property rights and collecting societies, industry-wide networks and events industries, training including academic and related institutions. All these domains, now you have your law. Please spend time and know where I came from. Even some of the journalists have not read it. 
don't worry, better late than never. When you go home, read what is going to regulate you. Sometimes the regulator can be dangerous. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Out of this same act, it's going to give birth to the Creative Art Fund, where some of you in the near future could make some presentations, throw in some proposals, and get financial support from the government. You know about the Creative Art School in Kwada, so if you don't know about it, again, spend time whenever you get to Kumasi. Go and see the Mammoth Project, which is ongoing for the Creative Arts. Unfortunately, you and I cannot go back to that school because it is SHS and it is free. WT Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Marco Creco Mante, uh, talking about the Creative Arts um, Act that, you know, we should learn it so that we, the things that we say, uh, <laughs> we'll know where they are from. So now let's get into the act proper. I started earlier. Now let's get to the executive secretary uh, bit. And that is where it's caused a lot of, you know, uh, conversations as to really the person who is there right now, if she really is the one supposed to be there. Now, the 12 bit says, 12 one says, the president shall, in accordance with Article 195 of the Constitution, appoint an executive secretary for the agency. Two, the president shall, in appointing a person as the executive secretary, have regard to the A, relevance, qualifications, experience, and knowledge of that person in the creative arts industry, and B, business orientation and proven experience of that person in managing and motivating multidisciplinary teams of professionals. And three, the executive secretary shall hold office on the terms and conditions specified in the letter of uh, appointment. And to the functions, 13, one says, or A says, the executive secretary is responsible for the day-to-day -day administration of the agency and answerable to the board in the performance of functions under this act. B, the secretary to the board and shall perform any other function determined by the board. Now, let me bring in Kojo Preko Dankwa. Um, your, your initial comments about the Creative Arts Agency and you know what's been happening so far. Um, I think first off, the Creative Arts um, industry has a lot to do in mm. terms of structures and in terms of um, seeing us positioning okay. very well within the space. I think that um, we haven't done too much to see um, that level that we need. We've left it for the individuals to uh, manage their own affairs. Um, it's just like um, you have the Ministry of um, Agric um, maintaining and positioning the Agric sector very well, knowing what the needs and wants of um, the farmers, okay? Um, when you get into the creative art space, you look as if we don't have a head. Mm. Um, there's no focus. The focal point is not there. There's no agenda that we are following to say that this is what we really want to build within the space and then move on to another target and all that. So if you should ask me what is really happening with the creative art space, um, I think that is what is really happening. Um, a lot of individual um, achievements within the space and the nation will want to just um, chop some of those um, uh, accolades or probably the achievements that these individuals are having. But largely, when you look at the space, not this present government alone, mm. previous governments have not really seen the essence until okay. um, John Muhammad's era that he decided to add creative fat to the ministry to see the importance of it. Um, until then, then we had only tourism yeah. uh, way back from the 90s and up until now. So it's more or less like we are now the baby of um, tourism. So you want to really position well, whether we have to use creative art to, to, to push um, tourism or we use tourism to push creative art to see us all at par. Uh -huh. We haven't been able to, been able to do that. achieve that. So, I mean, uh, uh, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying to see um, if structures are done, I mean, we'll, 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 be, we'll fall in place. I mean, for a very long time, we had been crying for the bill to be Pass. uh, passed yeah. to, into an act, and that mm. was done in 2022 years ago, mm. or a year and a half ago. 
isn't that what's supposed to bring the structure that we all wanted? You know, because it was under the creative arts, so uh, the ministry, tourism. So now you have the creative arts agency that is supposed to put together the structure for the um, whole creative arts space that we have in the country. Haven't that been done? Yes, it has been It has been done in 2020. I had a minister saying that it is called the Creative Art Industry Act, what, 2020? Mm -hmm. It is Act 1048. We don't call acts with a year. Mm -hmm. We call it with the, the, the number of laws that we've passed. So mm -hmm. this one becomes the 148th law mm -hmm. that has been passed. So it is not called Creative Acts Act 2020. Okay. All the ones have its year behind it, oh. but it has its year and all those things okay. I mean, put in place to it. So yes, it's it's something that um, you want to say yes. It is it is it is it is one to put and position the whole creative art industry. I mean, into its normalcy and all that. But here we are. That we 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 did this law in 2020. We are in 2022, and its effectiveness is where. That's one question we need to ask. What has been its ineffectiveness? It is just lying down in the shelves and we are not dealing with it. So ask yourself, when we wanted to do, when we're having the campaign, number of things were said about this same act that we wanted to push. Initially, it was a council, just as the minister yeah. said. He should have further to explain why it's pushed to an agency. Because if it was a council, then we're going to be more or less like independent and we're going to run our own affairs. Now, positioning it as an agency, which is under the Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture, mm. becoming one of the large numbers of agencies that are not effective within the ministry. So I mentioned one. National Commission on Culture, how effective it is. It's an agency under the ministry. Ask yourself, National Theatre, how effective has it been in terms of dealing with what we really need to have. So having another agency under the ministry tells you that we're not first of all going to be very effective. Mm. And that is what we are seeing. We have a law, all right. Again, we have National Film Authority, Authority. Act 9135. It has also been established, yet their office was just recently given to them at um, the, uh, what's the name of the place? Um, uh, tourism Information Center. Yeah. yeah yes. Exactly. Yes. So ask yourself, yeah. how effective is even that particular act led by David Donto and Julieta Sante, the board? Check whatever they've done to your film industry as we speak. Mm -hmm. So it is more or less like, yes, we are in a hurry to create it, but to position it and work effectively is the problem. You understand? Oh, yeah. So we haven't really executed what is in this act that we're talking about, the 1048. We haven't done anything. We have not even started anything at all, okay, on this act. Okay. And for me, for minister to say that we should um, be able to read and get a copy and all that, for me, I think that's a very, it's, it's unfortunate um, coming from Minister Marco Krekumante, first off. Um, to begin with, I think this was a nice opportunity for him to explain or probably um, get more in-depth into the, the, the act for people to know. No. Why am I saying this? When he was a president for Creative Art Council, of which the executive secretary was Jan Kruma, who is now calling herself the CEO, Okay, of this new act, 1048. <laughs> why why okay? do you say she's calling herself? <laughs> and that's, that's how she calls herself. The law, when you read, says what? Executive secretary. secretary. She's calling herself chief as, um, CEO. So it was acting. Acting the, chief executive. It's, it's a non starter with, with acting. Mm -hmm. Now, first, he was appointed. There was a three months mandate mm -hmm. given to herself, Bibi Bright, and now minister mm. as in deputy as in Marco Krikumante, okay. to do a certain specific job, okay, to go round the country, governize people, for them to come and sit and draw a plan for the 1048. That was their mandate. Three months. They ended up spending almost more or less like four and a half years or so under that particular space, calling the Creative Arts Council. Now, when they were at Creative Arts Council and we did that particular draft, 
Ask yourself, my minister is telling all of us to read. Did they do stakeholders' meetings? Even for the same creative art people to know what is in the law? They did not do anything called stakeholders' meeting within the space. Now, he should tell us the, the time frame that we passed this law, mm -hmm. okay, and the time frame stakeholders were able to know that we're even changing from council to agency. To agency, yeah. How many months? You, are you aware that this thing was passed under, um, um, is it emergency? Yeah, that, that was on the 29th of December. Um, exactly. It was passed under that time. Mm. Emergency was what we used in doing this thing. <laughs> Why? Because we wanted to really get um, a campaign promise done. Okay? So, where, where was the, um, the, the stakeholders meeting done? And, and you expect people to go where? They, frankly speaking, stakeholders don't have any idea and they don't even have the act to even read for them to even understand what is really happening within the space. Okay, okay. Kojo, before we continue, yes. and Enoch Ejapon is on the line. Okay. I know if he has joined via Zoom or phone call. Zoom. That's fine. Okay, so he's there. So Enoch Ejapon is a member of the Foundation of Concerned Act Professionals. Um, Enoch, if you can hear me. Enoch, can you unmute yourself? Enoch, Enoch, can you hear me? Hello, Enoch. I think Enoch has to. Um, yeah, himself, we are trying so we can... to add Enoch uh, um, to the conversation. Yeah. Enoch, okay, okay, Kojo, you can continue. <laughs> so, so, so I'm saying, we had a week stakeholders meeting on this same thing when he was then the president for the council. So how do you expect stakeholders within the space to know what the stand is? Indeed, when FOCAP, of which Enoke Japan is, is, is the vice president in charge of research, um, started raising um, issues with now Jan Krumah as the acting CEO, that was when a lot of stakeholders were asking for the same document, mm -hmm. wanting to know exactly what is really happening within the space. Yeah. And I'm like, this, this, this is unfair. So for him to come to say that, oh, we really need to go for it, learn and all that, I'm expecting the agency, if it is working, to really position well and go around the country and make it available to all the same domains he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Well, just to be fair to the agency, I've been moving around their Instagram pages and Facebook pages to know what they've been up to. And I see that somewhere in December, there was the Creative Arts um, Access to Finance Town Hall meeting. Did you hear about that? Okay. Ross, <laughs> so, so, so this is it. You read the act, mm. page nine, where the executive secretary is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Clause 1. What does it say? The president shall, in accordance with Article 195 of the Constitution, appoint an executive secretary for the agency. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, have you heard the president appoint anybody as executive secretary? At least we heard the president appointing Three, Juliet yeah. Asante, mm -hmm. appointing David Donto mm -hmm. as the board chairman and executive secretary for the National Film Authority. Yeah. Have you heard anything from the president or from Jubilee House, telling all of us that we have an executive secretary for the for the for the creative, creative art, art. I mean agency. 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 Have so, you heard so anything how like did that? She get that? That yeah. is the illegality I'm talking about. We do not have to accept anything like so that the within the space. Is supposed to be there. It is illegal. It's a non-starter. She should not be there. She 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 doesn't have any authority to be there. The father hasn't appointed her as the executive secretary. So why are we, are, we, are we allowing illegality to play? A minister mm. is positioning herself, himself, telling us, standing in front of people or the creative art people and stamping on illegalities by his own party? So, I mean, it's interesting. This, With this, what you're this, saying... This, this, this is unfair. Because but, if we have the creative arts 
uh, I mean, they there's know no the board. And, and there's number. no governing what? board. Yeah, yes, for the board. What exactly. What there's there's, there's we, no we governing know, board. We don't know the board. Exactly. And also, it, it baffles me because I see the likes of Mrs. Simons, uh, Three Music uh, mm-hmm. CEO, Baba Sadiq. I see some. Uh, George Britton is in here with a photo. Rudy Kwachi is in there. You mean that program? Yes, that program. That was yes. the Creative Arts Conference Global. Yes, I heard about it. Oui. I heard about it. And. That 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 shook me, and I was like, "Why are we sitting on, I mean, illegalities happening within the space? Why are we by force positioning somebody who has who's not, not been, I mean, be who's not supposed to be there but by law? The same law, you see. That is why I have a problem with 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 Mark as the Deputy Minister for Creative Art and and Tourism. You know very well that the law you are quoting is asking the President per Article One Nine Five, okay." To appoint someone. And you are sitting there, president hasn't done that. Mohammed Awal or um, Minister yeah, Awal is also yeah. sitting down. Nothing has been done. And you sit in front of us and you lie to us and you want us to go what? Go buy it and read and come and tell you what? Yes, we have to read. We shouldn't quote from our head. Yes, so we, are, we are not quoting. We have read it <laughs> dito. D- 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 yeah, dito. But, yeah. but and we're asking him to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. It is unfair to us. He needs to sit up and but let us understand that this is not months, this is After wrong. the three months, yes. you were appointed for three months. After they are, they ended up four years. Four <laughs> three months, they ended up almost so four and a half years. So why did this concern come up then? It did. Focap raised it. Really? Yes, Focap raised it. Again, my challenge again is that the industry in itself is not ready. or pro- I don't know how uh, it, 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 it has been, but we are not too much interested in our own laws that have I mean made for us. Okay. We don't. So we, we see the people who speak to us as the brains behind it and nothing nothing happens again. Yeah. I mean somebody sat there, Katrina Fiku appointed a three man a three man people, I mean give them three months to do a work. Mm-hmm. They end up four years. Nobody speaks about it. They get they get um budget giving to them, national budget giving to them to, to do, mm. execute work, and nobody says anything about yeah. it, and then we come back and then we give ourselves another title of CEO, be, I mean, president's daughter sitting there, and pre- minister comes in public to come and tell us that what? We should go and read, yeah. and that they are, doing, they are doing so many things. He but, himself should read his own, but, his own act. Okay. He's not reading his own act. If he's reading his own act, he wouldn't even have the nerve to even sit there and say what he's saying. Okay. So me, for me, my problem is with the creative act domain, as in the interpretation, mm. um, the, uh, chapter 16, where it says, meaning the following domains mm. in the creative art, like the music industry, mm. the fashion, beauty mm. and modeling industry, film mm. and uh, screen industry, visual arts industry, fine arts, uh, phonography industry, theater industry. I mean, these are lots. Yes. My concern is the fashion, beauty and modeling agency. I mean, we've had in interviews with uh, model, uh, in the, uh, the modeling agency, industry, okay. uh, people from stakeholders in mm. that industry, where they come out to say, oh, their, their industry actually is suffering, this and this and mm-hmm. this. But on the 27th of uh, May 2022, we had an information that uh, Fenty, Rihanna's brand, will be launching in Ghana. I think in, in Africa, eight countries. It mentioned okay. Nigeria, Ghana Zimbabwe. Yeah. Ghana was supposed to be part. Nigeria, Namibia, Zambia, Kenya, they had their launch. To date, Ghana, we've not gotten our launch. <laughs> and that is what I mean. Yeah, if you go on social media, you type launch for Nigeria, South Africa, Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, all these countries had their launch. So if the creative act, I mean, it is pushing for the fashion modeling beauty agency, what, like, where is our launch? Which people are the frontiers Thank of you. this particular project? Mm, Thank you. How is it going to be? Mm-hmm. I mean, the mm, deputy minister comes out to tell us that, oh, they are allocating this sort of funds, this and this, da, da, da. But these petty, petty ones are not being taken care of. Exactly. So where are we going to? And also, I mean, drawing all the, I mean, the interpretation of the creative arts industry, as she mentioned, drawing all the others, mm-hmm. looks like, they are even music and movies we are complaining. Yes. I'm just thinking about the, the rest of the, you know, the, the others, the modeling and the fine arts and all of those the, those ones. But even if, because I want to ask, even if, let's say, she, she was appointed 
the right way yeah. even for now. Do you think she's got the experience to be able to drive the, the creative arts agency to the level that will, will see that impact? Yes, if, 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 if the, the father mm. um, appoints officially, per the Article 195, appoints um, Jan Kroma to the position as um, the executive secretary, I think that she, she stands tall, okay, mm. in, um, in, in executing all the projects that we see. Indeed, she is a creative art person. She's a fine art, um, I mean, I would say student of fine art or master of fine art. Um, I mean, some, some of the things that I've heard her talk, some of the things I've heard her do, I mean, some discussions and level like that tells me that um, she's capable of doing that. I think that the best thing that a dad should do is to forget about what people will say, family and friends and all that. Mm -hmm. For us within the creative art space, if you are good, you are good. Uh, we are looking at the potential, we are looking at what the talent is and how she understands the trade. For me, I think that she, is, she, she deserves it. The only thing we need is that a father should just, I mean, go through the law and, and position her as the executive secretary. secretary. Okay. For me, yes, if, 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 if she's on, I mean, it's good. Um, the, 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 the program you're talking about, the one... Um, that was all some sometime December. The global entrepreneurship. Would yes, be, yeah. I mean, I mean, you could tell that um, it's 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 something. Okay, that um, uh, Kujo, let's try and see if we could add um, Enoch. Eno, uh, okay. Yeah, Enoch, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Oh, finally, you. <laughs> <laughs> finally. <laughs> Um, no, I, should have been, I should have been in the studios. You exactly, know. exactly. Sure, but sure, I will sure. move straight into the conversation. I mean, Kojo is here and we are talking about the Creative Arts Industry Bill. Um, we've got to Kojo's take. But then um, let me get your take on it. The bill is expected to boost the Creative Arts Industry. How effective, from your perspective, is this bill going to be effective if everything is done appropriately, as Kojo has stated? Sure, sure, sure. The bill is supposed to be the umbrella for the whole industry, and that is the truth. So uh, our only issue is how it's supposed to work effectively. Um, like I was listening to you, you were talking about what markets say, and I would just say that was just political talk. It's like a pastor saying, do as I preach, but not as I say. So you, he's telling us to go and read, but not really acting on what the act is saying. So let's let's go straight to um, the act, since he has asked us to read. Yeah. Yes, I would like us to read. Let's go to the last part of it. That's uh, the <laughs> 32. Uh, in, in interpretate, no. After the interpretation, the last one. So that will be 33, right? OK, um, come in. Yes. The last part. The last part, just the end. Yeah. I am concerned about that because... That, um, is it a transitional uh, provisions? Exactly. That's okay. beautiful. Okay. That's very intelligent. Yeah, 33, 31, yeah. So, and it affects some of us uh, who have been working in the industry for a long time. And it's telling us how we are going to transition into the new creative arts agency. So it reads clearly that a person who operates a creative arts enterprise prior to the coming into force of this act shall within one year from the date of the coming into force of this act, register that enterprise with the agency. Mm -hmm. Now, the act was passed in 2020. Yeah. We are in 2022. Yes. It means it's two years, right? Yes. Yeah. Then it says, a pe a, if you go to the two, yeah. a person who contra who, who contrary to subsection one continues to operate a creative arts enterprise commits an offense and is liable to the blah 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 i won't read the blah 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 i will read it but, to, you, don't to, <laughs> but to an imprisonment of not less than one year but two years hmm. do, do you understand it yes <laughs> It means we operating now in the creative arts uh, sector are all criminals now. Yeah, you should be jailed. And we are should we are supposed to be in Sawom by now. <laughs> Do you get where, where yeah. I'm coming from? Yeah. yeah. That is how serious this act is. 
So if you listen to him very carefully, he, so he told you that the, uh, an act can be, as, uh, uh, can be very dangerous to the industry. And he was part of those who drafted this act to put us in jail. So if he tells us that we are not reading it, oh, fine. We have read it and we are telling him what he's supposed to do. Now, what he's supposed to do, you can go to four. Go to uh, number four, right? The in the same act. Yeah. Which talks about uh, the governing body of the agency, right? Yeah. Let's check. And he explains those who are supposed to be in charge of the agency, of which executive secretary is also part. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now, the, we are talking about how they are going to have their meetings. Um, and then let's go to five. The tenor, no, uh, no, that's the tenor. Sorry, sorry. I just want us to have how they can have their meetings and who can. So, so, who so, can so, chair. so, so. You know, sorry to sorry to cut in, uh, Desi here. Uh, we really wish we could continue with this. I'll just give you a few seconds to wrap up, and then tomorrow is our review, is our total review. We're talking everything, and if you can come in, we'll be very grateful. Uh, <laughs> right, so because let me, go, let me go, let me just finish up. Okay, so sure. like, let's go to six meetings of the board, right? Yes. So the board, the board shall meet. What, 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 then two, the chairperson shall at the at the at the request. Okay. Yeah, at a request so the writing. number four, the chairperson shall presided shall preside at the meetings of the board. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, <laughs> what what basically what I'm saying is, eh, the only person who has power mm -hmm. over the agency is the board. Okay. And, and all the no meetings, board. all the meetings shall be chaired mm -hmm. by the board. Okay. Okay. Right? Um, Enoch. Enoch, we'll have this conversation tomorrow. No, tomorrow, you no, have no. to. Let's, let's read. No, 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 Enoch, our time is up, eh? We really have to go. Yeah. And you have stated that there's no board. So we wonder how they are working. So tomorrow, the conversation will continue. Yeah, we'll continue. So, um, Enoch, thank you very, very much. Um, that was Enoch in Japan. Um, Kojo, finally, before we go, any final words? Yeah, so tomorrow, you'll be here, though. Is it? Tomorrow, you'll be here. Okay. Yes. That's a promise. Okay. I, I, I will. So, so I, I, I just want Mark Okrokumante to know uh, which camera is mine. This one. This one, fast. To, to, to let him know that uh -huh. we have read uh -huh. the, the, the act. Okay. There's no board. Okay. It's illegal. Okay. So, so he should check the, it. The, 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 the Creative Arts Industry. Act. Yeah, there's no more bill. Yes, <laughs> it's an act. <laughs>